Blue, 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 Rastafari. What's up, y'all? Preston Smiles here from the beautiful Venice Beach, California. Today's transmission, the five alpha male secrets to get a girl, a woman, a queen to like you. Now, secret number one is be fun and funny. A lot of dudes are actually way too serious and not fun. And when it comes down to it, women are attracted to people who make them smile. They're attracted to people who have a good time in life. So if you want her to like you, if this is somebody who works at your job or somebody who's a part of your friend group, but you want to make moves on her, just keep being super fun and funny. Invite her to stuff, be playful, be funny, like joke around, use your sense of humor, not the one you think she wants you to have. Just be funny. I swear to God, I mean, how, many, how many of you guys have seen or met dudes who are actually ugly as hell, who have these fine ass women? One of those reasons is because they're so fun. You may even say that about me. My wife is freaking gorgeous. And one of the ways in which I got her, because there was at least three guys trying to marry her when I met her, one of the ways in which I got her was I was way funner than each and every one of those dudes. I was one of those people, I was cracking jokes, I was coming at her, and I was having a good time in my life. Now secret number two to attracting a powerhouse woman from that alpha male, true conscious alpha male space is to be direct. So many dudes are super wishy-washy. Oh, well, maybe if you want to go sometime to dinner or what do you want to eat? I don't know. What do you want to eat? What movie you want to go to? I don't know. What movie you want to go to? Make a decision, my brother. I'm telling you right now. Dudes are so weak right now that if you actually are direct, like one of the best ways to quote unquote pick up a woman is to walk straight up to her and say, excuse me, miss. She'll turn around, you look her dead in her eyes, right? Sexual energy all there, like man. You look her in her eyes and you say, I just wanted to tell you, I think you are drop dead gorgeous. My name is Preston. It's a pleasure to meet you. I hope you have a beautiful day. And then walk away. And then watch her go like, wait, wait, my name's Susie, or whatever the case may be, right? Just get in there. Most dudes are, are like trying all these different weird tactics, like be direct. I'm telling you right now, the more man-like you are, in the sense that you are single focused and hunting from a conscious place, the more she will be attracted to that energy. Secret number three to attracting a powerhouse woman is details my man you can go so far by remembering the small details if she says she has a favorite food or a favorite candy drop it off at her job remember it if she says oh my god i have this big test tomorrow two days later when you see her at the you know vending machine or wherever you are say how'd that test go remember the details i promise you this is how you one up this is how you take it to a whole another level because for her she's gonna go oh he cares what a sensitive caring person because remember girls are not like us they're, women are not like us they're, they're like a whole nother creature you know for a dude like that matters but it doesn't matter that much but for her, those are the things that truly count. So remembering the details of her life and being charismatic and sweeping her off her feet, essentially, without directly sweeping her off her feet, per se. Just be there and be awesome. Secret number four to attracting a powerhouse woman is, and this is big and it goes with number three, is ask a lot of questions and listen to her. I find when I talk and I'm, I'm, I'm coaching these women and I'm talking to them about their dating lives, they say these, all the dudes I go on dates with, they just want to talk about themselves all the time. And fellas, women, people in general, want to be with someone who is curious about them. So ask her questions, ask her detailed questions and then listen. And then whatever she says within that, cut her off and go, oh my God, that sounds amazing. So you're telling me that you climbed Machu Picchu? Was that like scary? Like, how'd you even get there? Oh, well, no, it wasn't that scary. I mean, like, yeah, my friends and I, we went on like this spring break trip and it was so beautiful. And then like, I got offered to do ayahuasca. Like, what? You did ayahuasca? Tell me about it. I've been thinking about this. Like, it's a spiritual experience, right? And like, just keep the conversation flowing. What's gonna happen is, is she'll go home, talk to her friends and be like, girl, he was so riveting. Like, the, the conversation just flowed. There was something about it. We were just like, in sync. This is how you do it, fellas. I'm telling you. 
Secret number five to attracting a powerhouse queen into your space is slow down. I cannot tell you how many women I know who have told me that they'll go on their first date and the dude's already trying to put his tongue down her throat and like have sex with her immediately. Slow down, my dude. One of the sexiest things to women is when you don't need it, when it's extra. You're so dropped in and so on purpose and so conscious and so curious and so you that you don't need her vagina. You don't need that right now. That's the difference between lust and intimacy. And the moment you become intimate, without needing your dick to be involved, she's gonna want it from you. So slow down to the speed of wisdom. Listen, talk, be funny, be awesome, remember the details, and I promise you, if that girl is even remotely interested in you, she will move up a few notches. Women, if you're watching this, am I right or am I right? Fellas, if you're watching this, tell me which one of these resonated with you. From the beautiful beaches of Venice Beach, California, I love each and every one of you. If you are new to the tribe, new to my vibe, and this is on YouTube, I ask that you click subscribe. If you're on YouTube or Facebook, leave a comment, share this message, and go out there and have some fun. Life is too short for us to be worrying about and focusing on bullshit. Love you all so much.